Uh, that is still good, that is still good. So it's pretty much this cold that was holding us back. That should be sorted now. There is something wrong here. Oh, oh, these are wrong. Was that what you asked about earlier? Oh, that's a silly mistake to make. Let's just build the rest of this one to make sure that... Yeah, exactly. I think uh, one of you did tell me earlier, but I was too... Uh... <laughs> I didn't understand. <laughs> So now that is going, now we have a ton of steel stored. Let's fix the rest of these. Let's go and get some more. You have a nice buffer of um, furnaces. There we are. We probably need some more inserters. You. Belts. Uh, yeah. Let's get a few more of you. Before we start to upgrade to these, let's get a small amount on me in case I want to use it somewhere. And stacking surfaces, almost done. That should be enough for what we need further down the line. <laughs> yeah, it's so. Once in a while you can't see a uh, forest because of trees. I don't know if that's the way the saying is in English, but there's a saying like that in Danish at least. Pretty much means that you can't see forest because it's obscured by all the trees in front of it. Which is quite hilarious. There we are. Good. Good. Go and... There we are. That should be a lot more steel hooked up for our base. You're not running because you're not built. They are running. They are good. They are good. So that should be pretty much doubling all steel production. And bonding all of that back into the base. Any biters sucking up pollution? There is some. So we do have biters attacks incoming soon. Not a lot. The trees are taking most of it. Damaged trees. And uh, that is somewhat good. So train running. Inputs are good again. So that means we should... Uh, yeah, true, Robert. That uh, seems like the best way to uh, explain was what I was trying to explain. <laughs> I'll point out at least. So, batteries done. Where were we? In theory, we could set up production science quite easily. We have everything we need for it, it's just insanely expensive. Um, should we set up production science? And should we do it in one huge cell that just produces everything it needs uh, without taking into account things from the bus? See, yeah, because that costs a ton of steel. Is pretty good. All the way up here. There we are. Not bad, not bad. Time to set up our production science. Anything else we need? Get you out the way. 
Boosting speed, nuclear power, in case you want to mess with that at some point. Bonus. Yeah, let's do it for that for now. And uh, let's see what else we have in store. So, rails, electric furnace, production units. Firstly, let's place down one of you and start to plan out what we need. We need 30 every 21. That means each production science will need... The only seven we need. We need seven of you. One, seven of you. That means we need... Seventy rails every twenty-one seconds. <laughs> I was mess up the the ratios for this one quite badly. Okay, let's see this. Rails are made right here at two or a four per second. That means we can make forty four. No, it's for 84 uh, in one of these. So um, if you do two, one, uh, one rail to two production, I think that is uh, close to what I need. It will waste about 20 something rails, but it'll be easier to manage. So pretty much one of these. If you do something like, something like this. And people agree that is the summer crick ratio if we go by 60. It's gonna be used here. 60 and 21 seconds. This one produces 84 and 21 seconds. So not enough for three, more than enough for two. I will skip the rest. That means we'll have to do that and that. And then we need this one to solve. Then we have these two. Um, if look at the electric furnace. You get everything from the main bus. That means one every five seconds. You require one every 21. That means one can support four. That's a one to four ratio. That means we'll need, uh, this is my lot, one, two, three, four of you. Be the correct uh, ratio. And then the last thing we need is production modules. How many do we need of you? Was it tier one? Yeah, it needs one every 21. It was just one every 15. So if you do it like this, that will be not the optimum ratio, but it will produce what we need. So to make the seven of these we need, we can pretty much make eight just to go a bit overkill. We need this times times four, pretty much. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot of assemblers. That's gonna be expensive. I don't have enough for that. We can start with this one maybe and find some way to make this modular. Because you have one, two, three, four, four different items. So that we can do this in two inputs going on one output into these. Yeah, what if we do something like this? We'll have two lines going in here with the resources for these. That requires quite a lot though. Or oh, 10 every 5, that's fine, that's fine. We can easily, we can easily handle that. And then we have inputs there. And uh, let's move you a bit out the way so I can land this correctly. Because if I do something as simple as this, um, let's give ourselves a bit of room. One two of these of these five this one requires 
two as well. Pretty much. Ooh. Need iron, steel, and stone in. Else we will craft the iron sticks on site. Do one of you crafting iron sticks. That is four per second. You require two per second. So in theory, this one can supply double that. Hey, well, Def. Welcome to the stream and welcome to uh, launching our rocket on day one in one stream. Stream. <laughs> that is what I'm trying to do. But we can actually do something like this. And then we'll just double this one. And then we can have... Will you be able to reach if I do that? Do something as silly as this. <laughs> Um, that's going to be a bit silly if we do that. A bit too compact. I don't know if I want to do that though. It would it would work in theory. Then we'll do the same here, here, and here. Then we'll have that go in this way, something like that. It's here, here. I've never done this build before, by the way. The way I'm doing it right now. So I have no idea if this is going to look very, very silly. Because I think it might be. So if we jump that, giving us the inputs we need. I would quite... Oh yeah, that only requires one input. Because the other one is coming from here. I think this is going to be, uh, be quite fun. Uh... <laughs> Do we need double this? So we need... Eight and something. So here we do you uh, up here with the outputs going around. One, two, three, four items. And then do four more of you, and then we'll do two. This is going to be so messy. But if we do that, is that going to be the correct ratio? Oh, that is the most messy build I've done in a long time. So we'll have the inputs coming from over here. We could, in theory, in theory, in theory, move this so it lines up with the output right there. Um. How about doing that? Question mark? <laughs> Do any of you follow what I'm doing right now? And if it makes any sense, please say so. Because I feel like I might be losing my mind doing this. You'll go on the insights. <laughs> um... Okay, that is going to be a very interesting build. I have, but I like doing it different times uh, every time. But uh, I don't think I've done vanilla 30 times. I've done modded a lot of times, and that is uh, very, very different. But like I said, it's sometimes it's quite fun doing... Uh, Yeah, one can support four, and right now we have eight to four, so that should... Uh... Oh, one can support four. Oh, you're correct. You are correct. I turned it the opposite way around. <laughs> so yeah, we actually just need one. Oh, we only need one? Seriously? Running at full speed? Yeah, so that can make four every 21 seconds. You are correct. I don't need all that. There's something about streaming for now seven and a half hours. 
that is messing up bits with my brain. At least that is the excuse I'm going to use. <laughs> Um, and it's the same for this one. But we need four of these, pretty much. That is easy enough to do. Oh, well, now I'll make two, three, four. That's four every 15 seconds. Maybe we can supply it with three. But that means... Let's just do four. We need some anyway to uh, to make things means you can go on that side. And you guys will go on this side. That looks somewhat decent. Hopefully. And don't just need the four items in we need. And that we can easily get from the main boss. That'll go in here. That will jump into that one. This one just needs one lane to go right here. Where I can grab that. This one just needs one lane of iron. Which you can grab just like this. Aha! Uh -huh. Can we power it all then? That's... Look at that, that's perfect. And it's something like this. Ooh, that looks... Um... Am I fine? So, time to see if I can get this to work. This uh, monstrosity I made right there. Let's start by getting these to work. Let's get this blinking away as well. So iron will go in right here. That way. I'll get iron to this one. That will oh we can't we can't do it here. We need some inserts, so we can do it here instead then. And here instead of that one. That gives us to this one. That's going to output to these two. That's there. It means we have rails being made. Once we get stone and steel on this one. So let's get stone and steel on you. See how far back you're at. All the steel we need. We just need some stone. That's quite far back, if I'm not mistaken. Right there. We could use a substation. That is also possible. The solution. Stone and steel. Right next to each other. Perfect. By the way, do you guys always use the same blueprints uh, for making uh, every build? Or are you like me that likes to try and do something wacky once in a while just to see what happens? <laughs> need you to go up this way. Oh, it's completely misaligned. It's good. Then we'll just have to... Here. And you will split... That way. Put here. We'll go to there. And we'll jump... That little fence. A little part. And... stone and steel. That should be the rails. Yeah. Because that is uh, 
red and green signs and furnaces is pretty much one way to build it to be optimal. Oh, wait, I can't do that yet. Yeah, I need the substation. Plus these needs to collect things. That's a scrap bit of steel here. See if the substation can power all of this. Go and get the red circuits while we're at it. Yeah. Probably easier than uh, crafting it, by the way. <laughs> Not that. Let's make one. Is that where we can put a substation in between? That should power all of it. And then we should have production signs up and running. And then we're only a few steps away from utility signs. That is fine. Undergrounds. And as well. Uh, that should be good. Steel is lacking. Ah, oh, it's buffering up down here, so it might be good. So, that substation, this entire thing. Can you be right there? Oh, it's like it's made for it. it means I can actually remove that. Not those, though. Not that one. Look at that. Oh, I love the substation. That means now we can add in you and you. That should give us the rails into both of these. Then we just need steel and brick on one. Yeah, we only need that every five seconds and all the two on this one. Let's go get our brick. But I think we might need to expand out our steel uh, at the moment. Otherwise, I think we will be in serious trouble since uh, we don't produce that much steel. Oh, let's get the pollution away. Because our iron is starting to lack. And we will have to go and make a little iron train at some point. Luckily, as soon as you get the train that we're up and running, it's quite easy to expand it out to do more things. Brick and steel. Brick and steel. Easy. We can get you on the inside. So right here. Steel. Um, yeah, that goes all the steel. At least as soon as it starts, my steel will disappear. Come on. Wow, whoa, that's a big attack. It took out my entire base over there. Holy moly, how big is that attack? Do I have any walls? I have walls. I should have walled things in. I'm coming, my minions, to save you. Don't kill my train. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling that's quite a big attack that's going on over there. How else can they kill things that fast? What? Oh, these two saved them. Okay, good enough. Well, that is some big, big biters. That's some big boys. And these to save them. I'm gonna show you my uh, old Warptorio defense. I actually worked quite well in Warptorio. What you do is you take four turrets to defend this area, pretty much. Then you surround them by uh, like this. Those walls were not something I had a lot of at that point. Then you have a nice defense like this. Maybe you can add a bit of wall as well. Just for the fun of it, to make uh, some kind of uh, cool little defense. This was pretty much my Warptorio 2 defense. 
having uh, this around these before I could make walls. And it was quite fun. So should we just go and have a quick look where those came from? Fusion clouds. We have a radar here, we don't. Let's get a radar down. But I will attract them quite a bit. Power-wise. Ooh, we need to expand our power soon. Oh, yeah. There they are. That little little thingy magics. That is perfect. So that has been completely annihilated. That means we are in a good place to uh, maybe leave it a bit. Let's clear out the little one up there as well. We hope they don't expand anytime soon. Into our area. That's a lot of enemies. Oh, calm down. And here goes the last one. Good. So, that has been taken care of. That means I will leave the rest of them for a little while. Yeah, I have also save on. So, uh, should be fine. I also had my, uh, I think I always saved every five minutes, I think, by default, and I have never changed that. How's the train looking? It's full of coal. Well, thank you for reminding me, uh, Visionary Scary. Our uh, vision. I think I'm going to call you that from now. Uh, because <laughs> losing uh, almost eight hours of progress because I didn't save would be... Uh, <laughs> wow, that would be uh, a silly, silly thing to happen. Let's see here. This is what we're working on before... We got attacked. We need these two to merge into this one. I think if we do it right here and right there, we'll be fine. So you'll go like that, and you'll go here and up this way. Then we just have to check with all the things that go from blood. Yeah, I'll call the vision. That is uh, a very, very cool name. I'll most definitely use that. So you can maybe stop from going further. Yeah, seems fine. Here is in with you. Then we just need some advanced circuits. And then we are good to go. Also together with the uh, green circuits. The advanced circuits is down here. I need to hook you up with green circuits, that's a bit back. And I'm guessing we're about to hit a point where my... I'm quite surprised that this actually kept keeps up still. Where... Uh, this won't be enough anymore. Yeah. 
And then on this one, we need green in. Could maybe take it one further over to the side to make it easier to manage. Maybe if we did something like green here. Oh, maybe back a bit more. Maybe here even. Then we'll get the red ones up from down here. And on the opposite side. As I want it into this one. We could do it a bit wonky. Like this. And then get things from the bottom. Pretty much do that. And uh, that. Oh, that's a squiggly thing. And then have. Oh, you jump from here to there. That is so messy. That is not going by good uh, Victorian building uh, codes. Neither is this, because that is completely wrong. There we are. And split you in. So that should be the last thing we need for production science. Now we just need to figure out what we should research until then. Let's get this one just to get it out of the way. That goes in, that's going to flow up this way. That's going to add here. Then I'm going to be excited to see if uh, this actually works. We could, in theory. Oh, let's keep it in case you want to expand more up the top. Let's do that, that. Means this goes down, this means this is going to pick it up. This is very, very compact at the moment. I don't think I've seen anyone do this particular kind of build before. Oh, we need a long hand as well here. There we go. That is everything we need. And that's going to buffer up. That's going to give us a nice surplus of that. And then we can finally output our production science this way. In theory, we need to double this pretty much to keep up with the rest of the sciences. Know that and I will probably do it quite soon. But... Uh, Yeah, it is a bit wonky. We'll have to figure out how to do that in the future. But here we go. That is production science. Let's get it into our little setup over here. 